Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Can everyone hear me okay? Can everyone hear us okay? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Perfect. Hello, we have two Sarahs. Hello, Sarah and Sarah. Hello. All right, let's get started. So for those of you that don't know me, I'm Shannon, and this is Jane. And we met during our yoga teacher training almost a year ago at Imbalance Yoga. And it was, we've been connected and traveling and teaching together since. And it's been such a joy. And about a couple of weeks ago, we started Cacao Conscious, which is a blog. And it's essentially a place for us to share yoga, mindfulness practice, and plant-based recipes with you all and our community that we're growing together. And we recently created a private Facebook group for our community where we're gonna be posting videos. You'll be the first to hear about our um, flash classes and tons of other really fun resources that we're just excited to create and share with you all. And with that being said, Jade's gonna lead us into our class. Wonderful, thank you, Shannon. That was a great intro. Yes, we are super excited about Cacao Conscious. And we are grateful that you guys stepped on your mat this evening. So let's jump right into it. Um, oh, actually, first I want to introduce the concept of ahimsa. And ahimsa is nonviolence. So you can think about nonviolence external world, but also to your internal world. So when you step onto your mat, be very compassionate with yourself and truthful and listen to your body. Your body might be different today than it was yesterday or tomorrow. Just really step onto your mat with a nice, clear mind. Okay, so let's begin. So we're gonna start with a short meditation um, and I'll introduce moksha, which is internal freedom. And I invite you to take a toe stretch and here, let me just do this. That is when you tuck your toes under and you sit back on your heels. If this is a lot, you can just find another comfortable seated position. Um, and if you are in the toe stand, stay until you feel too much tension and then return to a natural seat. So wherever you are, find your comfortable position, close your eyes, take your shoulders up to your ears and roll them back down your spine. And just take a few moments here to drop in, noticing the quality of your natural breath, starting to slow down your mind and release all of the thoughts that you had before or any thoughts that you're thinking of that happens after this class. Just be here now. And as you're putting space between your thoughts, draw everything in from the external to the internal world. And we'll start with a deep cleansing breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Another deep inhale through your nose. Hold it at the top. One more sip of air in. Biggest inhale of the day. Exhale loud through the mouth. <sighs> Let it all go. And now return to a natural breath. So this week, our theme of the class is internal freedom. And in yoga, like we mentioned before, we call this moksha. So I invite you to explore what is internal freedom to you. So take a few moments to ask yourself this question, be curious and see what comes up for you. And perhaps you think of the last time you felt truly free. 
and starting to tap into that freedom energy as we move through our practice. And sweep your hands out and up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, hands come through heart center, sealing it. Another deep inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands come through heart center, beautiful. If your eyes, eyes are closed, please gently flutter them open and we will start with some movements. So you're still in a comfortable seated position, sweep the hands up to the sky. Right hand drops, reach the left hand up and over to the right. Taking a side body stretch here, keeping the left hip grounded into the ground. Feeling the long line of energy from the left hip all the way through the left fingertips. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale, a little bit deeper into the tip pose. And returns to center, inhale. Exhale, other way, left hand drops to the mat, right hand reaches up and over to the left. Again, keeping that right hip planted into the ground, feeling a long line of energy. Neck and head is where it feels good. You can have it looking down at your left hand, looking forward or looking up. Starting to connect with your breath. Let's go through center and we'll flow that. Right hand drops, then over to the right. On the inhale, move through center, exhale to the left. Inhale through center, exhale to the right. Through center, exhale to the left. And flow this a few times on your own breath. Starting to connect each movement with a breath. And play around with your arms a little here with the transition. You can make it beautiful like you're swimming through water. Starting to warm up the spine. And when you feel even, meet at center, inhale. Exhale, twist to the right, left hand plants on the Right knee, right hand plants behind you, twisting from the core, dropping both shoulders down, and taking a deep breath in. Exhale, twist a little further. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, other way. Right hand plants on the left thigh, left hand plants behind you. Twisting from the core, breathing into the upper back. Inhale, come through center, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale through center, exhale, twist to the left. And continue this flow on your own breath, perhaps closing your eyes, starting to feel into it. Feeling where your spine is today, taking note of it, how it feels right now. And when you feel even, we'll meet in a tabletop position. Hands are planted directly under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Take a few minutes to flop your feet around a little bit. Press the tops of your feet into the mat. And we'll move into our cat cow. So on the inhale, drop the belly, gazes forward, heart shines forward. Exhale, round the back, look towards the belly button, press into the ground. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And continue this with your own breath. Again, connecting each movement with the breath. If this is a lot for your wrist, feel free to come up onto your fist. 
And you can come up onto your fists at any time during your practice. Starting to learn these modifications, you can make this practice your own for any practice, anytime you step onto your mat. And maybe you take a few barrel rolls, rolling your spine from side to side. One teacher that I have, she said that you can kind of visualize getting a, a spoon and getting the sides of an almond butter or peanut butter jar with your spine, rolling it around in a circle. And both ways. All right, and when you're ready, return to neutral, belly button to spine, reach your left leg back and lift it up parallel to the ground. Left leg is strong and right hand reaches forward. So you're pressing into the mat with your left hand, your right knee and the top of your right foot. You can tuck your toes under for more stability. Reaching your right fingertips forward, your left heel is kicking back. Find that long line of energy. Inhale, exhale, knee to elbow, round the spine. Bring the knee as high up as you can. Feeling your core engaged and reach out, inhale, exhale, knee to elbow, finding that again. Inhale, reach out, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach, keep the leg up, plant the right hand down. Left hand sweeps up, spin open to the side of your mat. You can tuck your Right foot under, again, to find stability here. Left leg is strong, flex your foot. Left hand reaching up to the sky. Finding space in between every rib on the left and the right side. Taking another deep breath in here. Exhale, release, return to a tabletop position. And we'll move right into the other side. Right leg reaches back and raises up parallel to the mat. Left arm reaches forward. Press into the ground with your right hand, your left knee, and the top of your left foot or tuck toes under. Belly to spine, reach the right heel back. Right left fingertips forward. Get as long as you can. Inhale, exhale, knee to elbow. Round the spine, belly is engaged. Bring the right knee up as high as you can. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach out. Plant the left hand. Right hand sweeps up, open to the side of your mat. Right foot is flexed. Belly's engaged. Find space in between each rib. Neck is comfortable. Look down to the side or up to the sky. Keeping the right leg engaged. And breathe. Beautiful, and now return to a tabletop position. Right arm sweeps up to the sky. And on the exhale, sweep the hand un under. We're threading the needle, so right shoulder comes to the mat. Finding that twist in your spine. Left hand is where it's comfortable. It's supporting you right above your right elbow or a little bit higher on the mat in front of you. And send your breath and awareness to your upper back. Press weight into your left hand to reach the right hand back up to the sky. Look up and plant it down. Beautiful, I love this stretch. <laughs> Sweep the left hand up to the sky and thread it under your right arm, placing your left shoulder on the ground. Find where you like to place your right hand on the mat. I like to place it 
about a foot above my head to the right a little bit. Send your breath and your awareness to your upper back. Finding that twist, twisting from the core. And press into the right hand to lift the left hand back up to the sky. And return to a tabletop position. Now we're gonna meet in a plank position, stretching your feet back, setting this up here. Um, heels reach to the back, crown reaches forward, belly to spine. We're gonna stay here for about 30 more seconds. You can always modify by placing your knees down. Pressing into all 10 fingers, the palms, almost rounding your upper back. Legs are engaged, everything's engaged, and breathe. Use your breath here as your anchor. And if you're shaking, that's good. It means you're getting stronger. One more breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. And walk out your dog here. Find what you love to do and make this part of your practice your own. Maybe you'll pedal the legs. You know what feels good in your body. Drop the, the heels side to side. Take a deep bend in the knees. Whatever you like to do here. And now we're, we're all gonna roll forward to a plank and press back to a downward facing dog. We'll continue with this wave, connecting with our breath. Inhale, roll forward to a plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keeping your belly to your spine, core is engaged. Reaching your tailbone up to the sky. And meet in a downward facing dog. Roll onto you. Rise up onto your toes. And now press your heels down to the ground. Reach your tailbone up to the sky. Right leg rises up to the sky. Keep your foot flexed. Maybe you take some ankle rolls here or bend your knee and open your hip or take some hip rolls. Hip circles. And reach the right leg up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. This is kind of the same practice as what we were doing earlier in our tabletop bringing the knee as close to your belly as you can. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, knee to the sh right shoulder. Keeping your belly engaged, knee is as high up on your arm as you can. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Press into the ground, lift that knee up. Inhale, sweep the leg up to the sky. Exhale, plant the foot between your hands. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes, sweep the hands up. Monkey pose, Anjane Asana. So take a few moments here to set up. Right knee is over, directly over the right ankle. So pressing the left hip forward. Shoulders are squared forward, but drop your shoulders down. Belly to spine and breathe. Find some stillness here. Take whatever arm position you love, but I, I'm gonna cue interlacing your fingers behind your head at the nape of your neck. Kind of press your elbows back a little bit. Find some freedom in your collarbone area. Maybe you take a few movements. Making this feel really good. 
And maybe for the last few breaths, you shine your heart up to the sky, taking a baby back bend. And now plant your hands on the ground, straighten the front leg, flex the foot, and fold over the leg. Sending your breath and your awareness is probably already there on the back of your leg. This is a deep stretch. So take a few deep breaths in. Exhale, send that fresh breath to the back of your leg. And try to see if you're holding any tension in the back of your leg or if you're in your hip. And if you are, can you soften? Can you find more ease in this pose? And great, we'll return to our monkey pose. Hands come to heart center, taking a twist to the right. Left elbow hooks onto the right knee. Shine your heart to your hands, twisting from the core. Breathing in and out through your upper back. Tuck the back toes under. Ready the legs. Stay here or lift the back knee up. Finding a high lunge version of this pose. Continuing to twist. The inhales, you find more length in your body. So on the inhale, reach your left heel back and your crown forward. Somebody stretching you from either side. And on the exhales, twist a little deeper. Beautiful. And plant your hands. Step back to a plank position. Lower all the way down onto your belly. Zip up the legs, the toes and the knees. Hands plant beside your chest. Inhale, roll up. Peel up into your cobra pose. Heart shines forward. Gazes forward and down. Inhale, exhale, roll down. Plant your hands, tuck your toes under. And the next inhale brings you back to a downward facing dog. Left leg reaches up to the sky. Maybe you take your ankle circles one way and then the other. Bend the knee and open the hip. Take some hip circles. And when you feel complete, left leg reaches up to the sky as high as you can. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Pulling the knee up as high as you can, pressing into the ground, belly to spine. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, knee to left tricep or shoulder. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, knee to right tricep, to right shoulder. Inhale, sweep the leg up. Exhale, plant the foot between the hands, lower the back knee down, untuck the toes, sweep the hands up to monkey pose. And take a moment to set this up here. Left knee is directly over the left ankle. Right hip is moving forward, drop your shoulders down your back. Find your arm variation. Again, I'm going to cue taking your hands and interlacing them at the nape of your neck. If you did this on the other side, interlace your fingers the opposite way, so the opposite thumb is on top. And again, kind of wiggle your shoulders around, finding a little movement, finding a little more freedom in your shoulder and collarbone area. Shining your heart up to the sky for the last few breaths. Reconnecting with your breath. Reconnecting with your mind and your thoughts. If they are wandering, bring them back to the four corners of your mat. And plant 
get your hands down on the ground, straighten the front knee, flex the foot and fold over the leg. Your half split pose, maybe you keep a slight bend in the knee. And notice the sensation you're feeling in the back of the left leg. It might be very strong, and if it is, let's all take a deep breath in. Exhale, send that fresh new air to the back of your leg, sending softness. And continue to breathe through this pose, focusing on the sensations you feel in your leg. Notice if you're holding any tension in your hip or your leg and see if you can find more ease in the pose. Beautiful, return to your monkey pose, arms sweep up. Hands come to heart center, we're gonna take that twist, right elbow hooks onto the left knee. Twist your heart to your hands. Your back toes can be tucked under if you'd like for more stability. The inhales, you find more length, so your crown reaches up diagonally. And on the exhale, you twist a little bit further. Making sure your, right, your left knee is tracking to the left and not buckling in. And you can stay here, or you can tuck the toes under, ready the legs, and lift the right knee off the ground. Find the strength in your legs, and twist a little deeper. Reconnect with your breath. Notice the quality of your breath, the length and the depth of it. And notice if you can deepen a little bit into the breath. and release the pose, returning to a plank position, and then a downward facing dog. Take your tippy toe steps up to the top of your mat. Meet in a forward fold, catch the elbows, take a slight bend in the knees and rock side to side. Release your head in the neck, shaking your head yes and no, letting all of your thoughts fall out of your head. Clear your mind. Release everything here. Hold on to nothing in your upper back. Let your entire upper back relax. And on the inhale, plant the hands on the shins, find a long spine, halfway lift. Crown is reaching forward. Tailbone reaching back. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Long spine. Try to find as much space in between each vertebra as you can here. Really focusing on visualizing somebody pulling your head and pulling your, your tailbone back and breathing into it. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the hands up, root down, rise up, sweep the hands up. Exhale, hands come through heart center. Find a mountain pose at the top of your mat. Toes come together, heels apart. And we will do our sun salutation. Sweep the hands out and up to the sky. Maybe you take a slight baby back bend here, reaching your heart up. Exhale, forward fold, sweeping your hands down. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. And plant your hands, steps back to a plank position, lower onto your belly. You can take the cobra that we took or feel free to pop up into your upward facing dog, pressing into the tops of your feet, lifting your hips and your legs off the ground. Shoulders pull back, pull your heart through your shoulders. Press into the ground and breathe. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
take a deep breath in here. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. You can take baby steps, big steps, hop, whatever you love. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands come through heart center. Beautiful, and take a moment here to reconnect with your breath. Feel your heart beating. Feel into your body. Notice if you are holding any tension anywhere or if you have felt a major relief within the past half hour. And reconnecting with that feeling of freedom that you tapped into at the beginning of this class. And we will have Shannon take it from here. Thank you, Jane. And now stepping into the center of your mat, we're gonna take an eagle variation. So feeling grounded through our left foot, we're gonna to begin to lift our right foot off the mat, feeling stable and strong within our left leg, engaging the core. And then we're gonna twist the right leg up and over our left eye, grounding down through our right pinky toes. Option one is just to stay here, or option two is to take the full bind by twisting your right foot behind your left leg. And then we're gonna straighten our arms in a straight, in a one straight line this time lifting them right up to the sky as we engage our core, drawing our belly to spine. Feeling the heart open here as your hips sink down towards your mat. Feeling your body expand as your legs twist. Taking three more deep breaths here. Inhale, reaching the arms back up to center, this time feeling grounded and rooted through your right leg. As you inhale, lifting your left leg up and over your right thigh. Again, staying grounded with your left pinky toes on the mat and your legs twisted, or taking the full bind if that's in your practice. And then inhaling, reaching the arms out in one straight lines. Feeling the heart open as your navel draws up and in, and your hips sink lower and lower towards the floor. Breathing deeply into this pose. Noticing where your mind's at within this duality of twist and expansion. Three more deep breaths here. Last breath, breathing in through the nose and then exhaling through the mouth. Reaching the arms up to the sky, we're gonna come into mountain pose at the top of our mat, taking a flow. Inhaling, reaching the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hinging from the hips, forward fold. Coming into our half lift, stepping back into our plank and taking your flow, whether that's coming into your chaturanga, the upward facing dog, or always option to go straight directly into your downward facing dog. Reaching the right leg up towards the sky, re like a downward facing dog. Feeling the stretch here, expanding. And then we're going to take three pumps in. So on our exhale, we're going to draw our knee to nose. One. Exhale, extend back to down three-legged dog. Drawing your knee to nose again, two. And then last time, knee draws into your nose. Then stepping into your power, we're going to come into our high lunge. Setting up here. And then inhaling, reaching the arms up to the sky. Imagine you're holding on to a beach ball, helping to release the shoulders. Good. 
connecting with your breath, belly draws in towards the spine. And your legs are on opposite train tracks. Taking one more breath here. And then exhaling, rounding your left heel onto the mat, coming into your warrior one pose. Your hips are drawing forward. As your heart gently opens. One more deep breath here, and then stepping back, taking your flow, or meeting back and downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg reaches up towards the sky. Finding your stretch. And then taking three pumps on this side. Exhale, knee draws to nose, crunch. Exhale, extend. Breathing into the crunch. Exhale, extend. Last time. Exhale, crunch. And then stepping in, coming into your high lunge, setting up. And then inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Belly draws to spine. Imagine you're holding on to that beach ball. Exhale, framing your left foot, stepping back, taking your flow, meeting and down, facing dog. Bending the knees here, maybe walking the dog, refining stillness, allowing your body to move however it feels like. At the end of your exhale, bending your knees and step into the top of your mat, meeting in a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, root to rise, arms sweep up. Exhale, palms draw, heart center. Taking that one more time, inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, hinging from the hips, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, stepping back into your plank, taking your flow. Everyone meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts up towards the sky. Exhale, knee draws to nose, stepping into your power, your right foot grounds into the mat. Inhale, coming into your high lunge, imagining holding on to that beach ball. Feeling grounded as your feet are on opposite train tracks. Your core is engaged, finding your balance. And then exhale, we're coming into our warrior two the second time. So either finding heel to heel alignment or heel to back, of heel to the back of our left arch here. Pinkies are drawing in opposite directions. And then inhaling, lifting the right arm up and back, finding our peaceful warrior, looking down at our left heel. Allowing the hips to sink forward as we find a slight heart opener here. Pressing into both heels. Inhale, returning to our warrior two pose. Finding the length. And then reaching forward with our right fingertips, coming to our extended side angle. Elbow comes to knee as our left fingertips reach up towards the sky, finding a slight heart opening here.
taking the bind if that's in your practice. Or if not, placing your right palm onto your heart as your left fingertips spark up toward the sky. And then whenever you're ready, coming to frame your right foot, taking your flow, or simply pressing back into your downward facing dog. Inhaling, lifting the left leg up towards the sky. See if you can stretch the leg two inches higher. I'm in the end now. Exhale, like drawing knee to nose. Stepping into your high lunge. Feeling the power and strength in your body. And then when you're ready, grounding that right heel down, coming into your warrior two pose. Feeling one long line of energy from your left pinkies to your right. Your left leg is in a 90 degree angle. Left knee is stacking directly over your left ankle. And you're feeling strong in both heels. Inhale, sweeping that left palm up and back towards the wall behind you, looking down at your right heel. Letting the hips sink a little deeper if that feels okay for you. Finding freedom in your expression. Inhale, returning to our warrior two pose. We're going to reach the left fingertips towards the wall in front of us this time. Bring elbow to knee, right fingertips spark up towards the sky, right shoulder drops slightly back. Taking the bind if that's in your practice, not staying right here with me. I like to bring my palm onto my heart but you do whatever feels best for you. Exhale, framing the left foot, taking your flow, downward facing dog. Bringing the big toes together, knees, Mats with distance bar coming, stepping back into a brief child's pose. Our arms reach out directly in front of us. And our heart lowers to the mat. Becoming aware of any thoughts that may be arising in this moment. And letting them go. Choosing to find freedom by being present, by being in this moment and breathing into any sensations that your body might be feeling. And whenever you're ready, pressing back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting the right leg up towards the sky. Knee draws to nose, crunching in. And then stepping in, coming into that high lunge power pose we've been doing for the past three flows. Inhale, arms reach up, imagining that beach ball. And then we're going to straighten our right leg, finding your point of focus, feeling strong through your right big toe. So your belly draws the spine, engaging your core, finding a slight heart opener. Inhale. Exhale, returning to your high lunge, repeating that two more times. Inhale, and then our exhale, our leg is going to straighten. Taking about three breaths here. Exhale, lowering. One more time, leg straightens, belly draws the spine. Feeling that left heel reach back towards the wall behind you. And then lowering back into your high lunge. Coming into our warrior two one more time. Checking our alignment that we're either heel to heel or heel to back to the back of our left arch. 
letting the hips sink. And then inhale, straightening that right leg again, grabbing onto your right wrist, sliding a slight heart opener here. And then exhale, warrior two. Inhale, leg straightens, grabbing onto your right wrist, breathing into the stretch. Exhale, warrior two, flowing through that about three more times, whatever your body is calling for. Moving as fast or as slow as it feels good for you this evening. The more we practice, the more we show up on our back. Finding creative expression becomes that much more intuitive. So trusting in the process and continuing to come back. Last time, inhale, legs straightens. Exhale, warrior two. Coming into our extended side angle, one last time, knee comes on, elbow comes onto our knees, fingers spark up towards the sky, letting the heart open. Maybe taking a bind if you haven't done so already by grabbing on, by reaching back and either grabbing on to the right thigh or maybe onto the right wrist, whatever's in your practice. Letting the hips sink a little bit deeper as your left shoulder draws back. Finding your variation of the pose. And then engaging the core, coming back up to your warrior two pose. We're gonna straighten the right leg, stepping the left foot in about a step or two. As we reach our right fingertips as far as we can forward and then placing our right palm onto the inside of our right calf, sparking the left fingertips up towards the sky as your hips draw back. This is our triangle pose. And then whenever you're ready, bending that right leg and pressing back into your downward facing dog, taking the flow if you're looking to board, build a little more heat. And then inhale, we're gonna lift, like, lift our left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, left knee draws to your nose, stepping into your high lunge. And then whenever you feel stable and able, straightening the left leg, finding your point of focus, feeling the left, the right heel draw back as your heart opens. Navel draws up and in. Inhale. Exhale, lowering into your high lunge. And then we straighten our leg on our inhale. Finding our stability. And then exhale, lowering. Taking that three more times at your own pace. Inhale, leg straightens. Feeling grounded and connected. Exhale, lowering. Last time, straightening your leg. Heart opens. Exhale, high lunge as we come into our warrior two. This time, right heel is going to ground down into the mat. Pinkies are going to extend in opposite directions. Inhale, straightening the left leg this time as we grab onto our left wrist. Pulling it back behind us, maybe looking at that right heel. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, leg straightens, heart lifts. Exhale, warrior two. Taking that about three to four more times at your own pace. Finding your own creative expressions within this, within this sequence.
Last time, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Reaching the left fingertips as far as you can forward. And then elbow comes onto knee as your finger, as your right fingertips spark up towards the sky. Placing your left palm on your heart, connecting with your heartbeat. And then always option to take the bind. Maybe grabbing on to your right thigh as your right shoulder draws up and back. Your left thigh, excuse me. Feeling grounded through both heels. And if anything doesn't feel good, then please come out of it. And try returning into the first variation where you were at. Inhale, sweeping up into our warrior two pose. And then straightening our left leg, stepping our right foot in about a step or two. As we reach our left fingertips as far as we can forward, palm comes onto the inside of our left leg, right fingertips spark up towards the sky. Triangle pose. Feeling our spine lengthen with each inhale. With each exhale, feeling our right shoulder draw back just a little bit. Our hips are drawing back to the wall and maybe the tree behind us. And then framing your left leg, stepping directly back into your downward facing dog. Slowing it down, we're gonna inhale, lifting our right leg up, up towards the sky, and then stepping it through both of our palms, lowering our left knee onto the mat, untucking the toes, rolling out our wrist, and then rolling out our elbows, and then rolling out our shoulders. Finding some space within our body, maybe rolling the shoulders forward as well, releasing any tension. And then finding your full, very, your full expression of pose as we sweep the arms up towards the sky. Maybe closing our eyes, helping us to find more stillness within our thoughts. And then when you're ready, framing your right foot, stepping back into your downward facing dog. Coming onto your left side, inhaling, lifting the left leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, stepping your left foot through, lowering your right knee onto the mat, untucking the right toes. Again, rolling out the wrists, rolling out the elbows, and then rolling out the shoulder. Maybe rolling the shoulders forward, rolling them back. And then sweeping the fingers up towards the sky, finding your full expression of pose of your hips sink. Belly draws the spine to protect the low back. Taking one deep breath together, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Letting anything go that's not serving you. And then framing your left foot, simply stepping your right foot back to meet your left, bringing both knees together, heels and toes touch. Pressing back into your child's pose. So our knees are together, our heels are touching, 
when our hips are sinking back towards our heels as our forehead grounds down towards the mat. If you're looking for a little lower back release, I invite you to reach your arms back behind you with your palms facing up towards the sky. At the top of your forehead, rest onto the mat. Breathing into your belly, breathing into your heart space. And then exhale, letting it go. Slowly coming up to a comfortable seated position. Your knees can be together or your legs can be crossed. Tenting our fingertips on top of our shoulders. So we're on this like weird wing variation here. We're just gonna begin to twist to the right and then to our left. The lower half of our body is gonna feel rooted into the mat. We're just twisting with our shoulders. Gently twisting from right to left. Continuing this, with this motion or rolling the shoulders up and back and around. Finding your own creative variation, finding your expression of spot of this pose that we're doing. Maybe rolling the neck from side to side. Option to close your eyes if this helps you get more in tune with what your body needs. Very similar to what we do in cat cow. We would just let the body move however it wants to. And then once you've had enough fun with that, bringing the feet together, bringing the feet together and slowly lowering all the way down onto our spine, coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. So our feet, are, our feet are together, but our knees are wide. Placing our right palm onto our belly and our left palm onto our heart. Closing the eyes. Breathing in lots of love. Exhaling lots of love. Again, breathing in love. And exhaling love. Drawing both knees in to center, and then dropping both knees towards the left side. Taking our spinal twist, gaze either looks up towards the sky, or if it feels comfortable for you, looking over your right shoulder. And then returning both knees back to center, squeezing in. And then exhaling, drawing your knees onto the right side this time. Your left arm is extending out. And your gaze is either looking up towards the sky or over towards your left shoulder. And then whenever you feel complete, returning back to center and extending both legs out, coming into your Shavasana, your final resting pose. Your heels are met with distance apart. Your toes are flopping out to either side. Your eyes are closed.
and your palms are facing up towards the sky. This is arguably one of the most important poses that we do in yoga. It's where we get to receive all of the benefits from all of the poses, from all of the variations of the poses that we have just done for the past 60 minutes. When we found freedom through our own expression of each asana, of each pose, we found exactly what our bodies needed. Continuing just to focus on the inhales and the exhales of your breath. Staying here as I close us with our final reading with our reading for practice today. It's a quote by Viktor Frankl that Jade shared with me about two days ago. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. And in that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom by Viktor Frankl. Inviting some movement back into your body, wiggling the toes, wiggling the fingers, turning the head to the right and then to the left. And then drawing both knees back into center, giving yourself one big I love you squeeze for showing up on your mat today. Rolling over to the right or the left side. And then slowly pressing up into a comfortable seated position. Ending practice as a collective all together with one deep breath. Inhale, reaching our arms up to the sky up to the heavens. Exhale, drawing palms to heart center. Thank you for practicing with us today. It was an honor to be able to teach. Thank you girls, enjoyed it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. Bentley says hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. 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 Have a great four. Great four. <laughs> Bye.